Well, thousands are still without power in Marion County, many of whom have been without it since Friday. Yeah, really tough. Fox 12's Bridget Chavez is joining us live in Aurora tonight after speaking with people out there about what they're seeing, about what they are dealing with. Hey, Bridget. Yeah, guys, this is just part of a tree that came down. Look at the size of this thing. This is just half if, if that of the neighbor's tree that came down into Matt Kaufman's yard. He says while well, he was trying to clean up, it nearly hit him twice. And that's what so many people out here are trying to do. Just clean up. But the biggest need every single person has said that they need right now is power. I mean, it is pitch black out here. And right now, PGE has no estimate for when the power could be turned back on. The city of Aurora has been without power for days. Thousands like Matthew Kaufman and his family left in the dark. This is unprecedented and it's 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 well disgusting to not have any kind of help out here. You know, it's pitch black, middle of town, there's a thousand over a thousand people who live here, and we don't know when the power's turning back on. The family is now staying in a hotel nearly an hour away until the power comes back on. The financial burden weighing heavily on them. And you have total destruction and, you know, the food loss is monumental. It's hundreds of dollars of food. The accommodations that we have to pay for nightly is something that we we're not used to having to pay. Part of a neighbor's tree covering their front yard after the historic ice storm. It narrowly hit me twice. Uh, I had to go running out of the way. I was working on another project out here trying to fix the gutters that were frozen. And it's a similar story for the Hall family. Mackenzie and Alexia both were stuck at work when the storm hit. Now just waiting for power to be restored. We kind of crowd in on, on our one couch and sit in front of the fireplace to stay warm with each other. Mackenzie came here from Oregon City because on top of no power, she has no water. 2021 is keeping up with 2020, I'll tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> PGE has no estimate as to when these families could have their power back, but say they're working around the clock to restore it. An unsatisfying and frustrating answer for these families who can do nothing but wait. <laughs> One thing after another, we're not getting a break, that's for sure. Every person for themselves out here right now. And at last check, there are still about 63,000 people in Marion County without power. Again, no estimate as to when it will be turned back on. Reporting live in Aurora, Bridget Chavez, Fox 12, Oregon.